Hi guys, so today I'm making a review video of these Mermaid brushes from eBay. I found these very randomly online. They sort of popped up for me on the screen. I wasn't looking for any Mermaid brushes, but they looked so beautiful online and also they were really cheap. I can't remember the exact price of them, but I'm sure it's going to be either in the title or I will leave it somewhere on the screen up here. But they were very inexpensive and they looked so nice online that I had to buy them and decided to make a review about them. First impression, I've never tried these before, they are still sealed and unopened. But they had to be shipped from China, so they took quite a while to arrive. But I finally have them here. Today I used a dewy, less of a coverage foundation, just so I can set my face with powder using one of these brushes. I don't typically set my face with powder just because my skin is so dry, but I think with a dewy foundation it could be quite nice to set my face. And then of course I'm also going to contour, add some bronzer, blush, highlight to see how these brushes perform, whether they shed. Okay, so let's open these up and see. I think the idea of them is to have scales like mermaids do. Five face brushes. So I'm going to use, I think this is the biggest one, although these two look pretty similar. So I'm going to open them together, but I'm going to open one of them first and see what it's like. Okay, so it looks like this straight away I will say to you they don't look cheap they look really beautiful and they don't look cheap in person whatsoever however they feel cheap so they are really quite lightweight they are not heavy whatsoever they are really quite light this thing is made from plastic not metal so they are really lightweight I would prefer them to have a little bit more weight to them, of course, because then they would feel more luxurious, but at the same time, they are so inexpensive, I wouldn't necessarily expect them to feel any more expensive than they feel like. However, they don't look cheap at all. They actually look beautiful in person. The colors are really nice and there's a great amount of detail. The brush itself is not very dense. So I usually prefer brushes that are slightly more dense for powder, however this would be a good brush for maybe setting underneath your eyes or maybe for bronzer even, but it's not very dense, it's quite fluffy and I don't know if you can tell, there are not that many bristles to this brush, but it doesn't feel like it's going to shed. Of course things could change once I wash these brushes, but so far so good, they feel really soft, at least this one feels really really soft and it doesn't look like it's going to shed. But I'm going to open this one as well because this one looked pretty similar to this one, so I want to see if it's any different. Okay, so they basically weigh exactly the same. This one has a little hair here, but this one again, it's not very dense at all. I would have liked one of them to be more dense than the other, to have more hairs, more bristles for like different purposes. The only difference that I can really tell is the fact that this one is more tapered. This brush is slightly more tapered than this one, but it's okay, I'm sure we can still make them both work. So what I'm going to do first is set my foundation with powder. I'm going to use the first brush that I opened, the one that's slightly more tapered. And for my powder, I'm going to use this Maybelline The Matte Maker Mattifying Powder. I love this powder so much. I don't think I've ever spoken about this on my channel, but I bought this powder literally a couple of days before going to Jamaica. And ever since, I've been obsessed with this. Put some of this powder onto this brush. I think this brush is slightly fluffier than what I like to use as my powder brush. It's a little annoying and this one, this other one is even more fluffy, so I don't know, we'll see. It's definitely very soft. It's a very soft and gentle brush. It's not rough at all, it's very gentle on your skin, which I love. So that's good. So even though this brush is definitely more fluffy than what I'm used to, like whenever I put it on my face it sort of spreads a lot more than any of my other powder brushes that I use, I still think it mattified my face really nicely and I love how gentle it is. I already said that but this brush is actually really gentle. It feels really nice and I think it worked. If you like to use your powder 
to build on top of your foundation to build more coverage on top of your foundation with some full coverage foundation powder or a medium coverage foundation powder this brush wouldn't be the brush of your choice because ultimately if you want to add some coverage on top of your foundation you would want to use a buffer brush or like a dense brush this one i don't think this would build much coverage onto your face if you wanted more coverage with your powder however just for setting your face I think it works, it works perfectly fine. And now I'm going to open up this brush because I have no idea what to use it for. So I'm going to see what it's like and then see what I can use this as. So this brush, oh, this brush is more dense. This is a shorter, a lot more dense brush. I quite like it. I think the quality of this brush feels nicer than the other ones. I don't know why. It just feels, I think it's a little thicker. I think the wand is slightly more thick. Yeah, I think so. And just feels like a nicer quality. However, I don't typically use brushes like this. The only thing that I can think of to use this brush for is to set my concealer underneath my eyes. But I already did that before this video because I already put some concealer on. So I don't think I'm going to use this brush today. So moving on to another brush. I think this is an angled brush that I could use for contouring. So let's see. Yes, again, there's a little hair sticking through. So I have to remove that. So I don't know if these brushes will actually not shed just because sometimes there's an odd hair, but hopefully not because they don't feel like they are going to shed. Sometimes they just have loose hair flying around but yeah this is a an angled brush quite a small angled brush as you can see but hopefully this should work nicely for contouring so i'm going to use hula bronzer by benefit to contour my face with this so i'm just going to dip into hula a few times again really soft a really really soft brush I actually really like this brush. I think the shape of it is really quite nice. And you can get right underneath your cheekbone with it. Like that. And I think it blends everything pretty nicely. It's not too dense, but it's not very fluffy either. I think this for a contouring brush is actually a perfect density. This is my favorite brush so far. Time for blush. I'm going to use the same brush that we opened before, that second one, this one, and I'm going to try to apply some blush with it. For my blush, I'm going to use my current favorite that I already raved about on my channel, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Apricot in the Middle blush. I'm sorry about the state of it. I literally use this blush all the time. I love it so much. So I'm going to dip this brush into my blush again. This is more fluffy than what I'm used to with uh, blush brushes, but we'll see if it works nicely. I'm just going to smile and then apply some blush. The bristles spread too much. I mean, it's definitely doable and I can definitely work with this brush. However, I don't really, I think it's a bit too fluffy for me for blush. Yeah, definitely. I prefer my other brushes. I prefer my Ego Tools Tapered Blush Blush or the other blush brush that they do. They're a lot more dense than this one. This one is just a little too fluffy. Very gentle, very soft, but a little too fluffy for a blush brush in my opinion. So again maybe i would use this for powder just like with the other one i don't think i'm ever going to use this brush as a blush brush ever again i mean it worked my blush is on it looks okay but i just think look look how fluffy it is and then lastly i'm going to try this fan brush this is the last brush that i have from this collection and just a small fan brush that people typically use for highlighting so that's what i'm going to use this for but i can already see quite a few hairs peeking through so i'm going to try to pick them here uh, oh this one's stuck they're all stuck i think i'll have to just leave them there 
but yeah it doesn't look like a very precise quality i'll probably just cut them later on but this brush i mean it looks quite nice but it's a little out of shape if you can tell it's not an exact fan perfect fan brush it's a little out of shape and then there are quite a few hair picking through but hopefully if i wash it then it will reshape and it will be fine but yeah i'm going to try to highlight with this and for my highlight i'm going to use one of the best highlighting palettes of all time which is the sleek solstice palette you guys this palette is incredible and I'm, I'm sure most of you guys already know about it because so many people on youtube keep raving about this highlighting palette for a very good reason this is my go-to highlighting palette for nights out together with the kali bible palette actually that i'm holding right now i'm just using this for a mirror but i love this palette but this sleek sauce this palette is incredible so i'm going to see how this highlighter brush performs with the solstice palette i'm actually going to use the pinkier shade i think this one at the bottom i'm going to it's nice it's nice i have nothing but to say about it definitely applying my highlighter quite intensely but it is a very intense highlighting palette to be fair so i didn't expect anything less from it however do i prefer it over my other highlighting brushes definitely not i don't feel like this blends my highlighter as nicely as my morphe brushes or my inglot brushes the highlighting brushes that i always use from inglot and morphe they're not fun brushes though but would i use this again yes most definitely it's not terrible so yeah in all honesty i'm not disappointed with these I feel like because they don't shed and they're gentle, they're not rough, they're very soft. I actually like them and I'm quite happy to have them on my vanity. I think they look so beautiful. However, don't expect miracles from it. They look beautiful online and they look beautiful in person. However, they don't feel expensive or as beautiful as they look, if that makes sense. They feel quite cheap. And I think my major complaint about these is actually the choice of shapes and density that they chose. If you're actually looking for some good quality brushes, then I would rather suggest Ego Tools. Ego Tools are my favorite brushes of all time. So, okay you guys, so that's the end for my review video. Please like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to me if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.